God lives and works today. We can see this especially when we think about the time and effort He takes to discipline us. God is love, and He has only the best in mind for His children. However, just like all children, we need to be educated and disciplined so that we can receive the inheritance and heritage of our Father. Listen to the following meditation by Basilea Schlink called God's Ways of Discipline. In Hebrews chapter 12, the apostle writes to his congregations, It's for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father doesn't discipline? But how does God discipline his children? Most of the time he disciplines us through other people and through the troubles and difficulties they bring us. Who brings you the most trouble in your life? Have you ever thanked God for this person? When we're in God's school of discipline, that is, when other people start to cause us problems, a battle begins. Something rises up in our hearts to rebel or to lash out. Or perhaps we become discouraged and want to give up. When a person doesn't understand us, treats us unjustly, or simply causes us distress, the Lord has a definite goal in mind. What is this goal? God wants to show us our sins. Therefore, let us pray. Lord, let me recognize my sins and come to repentance over them. Help me to stop looking so much at the sins of other people. Under the burden of my own sins, help me to learn to love and bear those around me. Then our own suffering and irritation will decrease, and the Father in heaven will provide a solution for all of our difficulties. When God disciplines us in this way, we shouldn't give up, but patiently endure. God is dealing with us as true sons. Therefore, when people make life difficult for us, to rebel is foolishness. We should give thanks. God has thought up such ways of discipline for us because He cares so much about us. He wants to transform us into His image. So let's say yes to the Father for His ways of discipline. And let's thank Him for this, His great love to us. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.